Well, <laughs> I carried around a spool a lot because, and I think the spool was carried around because I couldn't see at the time. And when I would go to school, the thing I would do was try to sit in the back of the room and then reach down in my pocket and pull out that little spool so I could see the blackboard and all. And it wasn't until quite a while one of the teachers wondered what I was doing all the time in the back there. And going in and out, she asked me to empty my pockets. I had a lot of junk. <laughs> but among the things there, she noticed that uh, I had uh, forgotten what it was now. A, st a spool? No, it was a special little tool that I could look through. And if I looked through it, I could see the blackboard. <laughs> and uh, so when I dumped my stuff out, she wanted to know what was all this about. And uh, I had to demonstrate that it was a bomb. At the time, though, there was a black woman who was the uh, nurse there. And she worked as far as uh, the kids in school. And she w came by and saw me and took me downtown and had me examine and found out that I was really in need of glasses. So I didn't get glasses till late. How old were you? Hmm? How old were you when you got glasses? More than 10. See, so that's pretty late. And what did it feel like when you wore glasses for the first time? Oh, great. But see, I had my, <laughs> I had always something that I manufactured to look through. <laughs> So I, the best thing was to have the fact that I could wear it rather than carrying something in my pocket, which is a broken piece of glass or something to look at. So, mm -hmm. so it was rather nice to get glasses. Because I remember getting glasses with a nurse, and she came by, and she took me all the way downtown and waited until I got my examination and all, and, and I got glasses. It was like having a new world when I got glasses. <laughs>